Hello guys, it is King Bud Deer, and welcome to another Napoleon Tour Multiplayer Battles. I am here with a 3v3 on Amazon Confluence, so let's get started. Oh, I did not select it. Good job. So this is obviously with me. Yeah, this map ain't gonna get the best frame, but we have to live with what we got. Alright, let's see. Oh, the frames. The frames. Oh my god, the frames. Okay, yep, this is unrecordable. Eh, I guess it's not too bad, guys. We'll live with it. Alright, so I got my usual Prussian build of four Prussian Fusiliers, Lifeguard, 8th Life, and a Foot Guard, four Hussars, and the rest being Musketeers, and then a regular General. And then I believe Elite played as Portugal. But looks like he has a lot of Portuguese cavalry, and obviously a whole base of infantry, and he's got some Tiradores. And some Cazadors. Then not much else past that. And I definitely know Tip was on my left side, so this is Tip. Probably pretty much the exact same build. Yeah, pretty much the exact same build. A little bit of militia in it. So, this battle is actually pretty epic, honestly. We pretty much obliterate this Prussian almost immediately. But, uh, let's see here. He has, I'm assuming, four Prussian Fusiliers. I don't know where... No, he has a Silesian Schutz in his um, fourth light unit. Looks like some Hussars. Count Von, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce his name. Foot Guards. A couple of Foot Guards and a Grenadier unit. Looks like two Grenadier units. Yep, two Grenadier units. And then, um, my guy has a base of Dragoons and Rifles over here. And then some foot, more Rifles. General Staff, Foot Guards. Foot Guards, more Dragoons. More Rifles. How many Rifles does he have? Uh, oh, he brought five. Oh, no, 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 that's four. Haha. -ha. Oh, nope, never mind, I'm going to recount again. Yeah, he brought five. Oh well. I believe, I uh, obviously we went on with the battle. And then Elite's opponent here, looks like he has a couple of Cossacks. Quite a few Cossacks. And then Chevalier's God. Some Cossack count, more Cossacks. A whole bunch of Cossacks, I'll just tell you that right now. Count Vaughn, blah blah. Just again. And then he got a lot of Elite Infantry. Pretty much nothing but Elite Infantry is his infantry. And then plus Russian Jaegers and the 17th Jaeger. And that's all he brought. So the Russian didn't bring too big of an army. But, uh, see, I have came up to this hill. And I'm just quickly crossing. And uh, hopefully the frames stay a little bit more stable in that initial piece. We'll have to see here. Elite pretty much doesn't really have to do much against the Russian over here. It's going to be pr pretty much an easy battle for the lovely Portuguese. And then my cab is getting shot. It's already taken 10 losses. I just decided to charge him in because, oh well, yellow charge. They do get a decent charge on these Silesians. We're getting some nice, lovely, friendly fire. The only thing Our I love are running, charging sir. sometimes you get friendly fire on units. So I did 14 kills against that unit. And thankfully, quite a few of these other units took uh, one or two friendly fire losses. Let's 
See now my men are starting to reach their positions. They're all very tired from their long jog from the back of the map. So I'm the first one to have lost a unit this battle. You see Tip has split his army in half against his Prussian. And we're pretty much going to be double teaming this Prussian. He ain't going to have much fun. For the most part, this area right here is going to be a little bit of a stalemate for a while. Not, not going to be much going on. See now, Tip Sky is kind of moving his Silesians around. Hello, foot guards. Too bad you're my enemy today. See, now I've gotten into a skirmish with the Silesians. And did quite a few da uh, damage. <laughs> losses to them. And now I'm shooting at these foot guards. And doing some really good damage against them. He is going to shoot. And I'm going to take a couple losses. So now I'm going to charge the cabin. And thankfully not steamroll my guys over. And I don't... He does get in a square. I did steamroll a few of his guys though before uh, my guys decided to take a stopping point. Our men are running. I did shoot a few of my own Asars. I can almost guarantee that. But uh did do some considerable amount of damage to this foot guard. And it's pretty dang low. Pretty dang low. I mean, this is when my guy starts trying to do a slight push. Let's see, he messed up his stakes here. Still killing off these foot guards. To take a few losses here. My musketeer behind him. I think we're still getting some stray bullets to all these other units back here. You see now Tip's Prussian is moving over a uh, Prussian Fusilier to reinforce because he's just now noticing he's getting outmatched in the light fight. It pretty much will be the entire battle because of this area here. Ain't gonna be very fun. So I'm gonna start fast forwarding again. Elite's pushing up just a little bit. He ain't gonna be crossing, obviously. That'd be a terrible idea. And um, now his Russian is trying to cross the river crossing. So obviously he is gonna make it across, but I think he's gonna try to get into this musketeer unit, or he's gonna continue his way over here. Oh, never mind, he turned around. Haha. -ha. And I'm continuing the skirmish with these Silesians, which are down even further than what they were before. But instead, I'm shooting the foot guards. That was just a waste of a foot guard, if you ask me. Just continuing to drop. Third two men, still standing. I applaud them. So there's quite a few bodies already on the battlefield, and not really any real engagement has started yet. Ah, oh, five kills in that volley. And still getting them. I don't really think anything else goes on here for a little while. The Prussians just falling back with his reserves slash elites. He's kind of, I believe, reforming his line completely. And now this is the point where Tip pushes up and I also majorly push with him. Trying to get rid of this Prussian.
Looked like they were going to get a volley off. Well, they're just reloading. Those poor Silesians can't do much. There's also combat over here. The Prussian pushed up. Now it's in combat with Tip. And obviously, as of right now, the Prussian Brazilians are losing the light fight because they have not even fired a volley. And then the obliteration of this flank of the Prussian starts. And in that, and these Prussian is with guards. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, Tip's charging in some cav. The man of fatigue, sir, I must rest a while. Yeah, as you can see, it's just tips is dropping Prussian men. But yeah, I majorly pushed up to continue. So these volleys into the Prussian flank are gonna hurt a lot. Oh, 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 oh my God! Oh, these poor foot guards. These poor foot guards. Both of them. Oh, just absolute slaughter. And now. My British guy is doing a slight push. He's trying to take the ease off the Prussian flank. But yeah, the Prussian is just is not in a very good condition right now at all. See, now he's pushing over <coughs> even more reserves. But uh, Tip's there waiting for him. The man of militia. the peaks are a must rest away. And these Cossacks got lit up before they even got across the river by my lovely lights. Those so Hussars, the Prussian charged in, are just kind of getting blocked up on my square, so he's not going to be able to do much more against me. He is going to try to still get to my lights, but I think that, yeah, he's going to route in a second. Yeah, the Prussian pretty much wasted all of his foot guards over here. There's only two left. And then just some Fusiliers and two Grenadiers. Yes, Grand Grenadiers, that's why I speak. And the continued obliteration of the force. And then for some reason, I don't know what he was thinking over here. I think he's just doing an all-out charge. Yes, yeah, so you can see the mass route of Prussians. Just he just stood no chance over here. No chance. Grenadier's gone. But, uh, I'm gonna start repositioning to focus in on this British player. Once these final units are out. Need to drop like flies. As a uh, tips militia got charged over here by a bunch of Prussian musketeers, obviously routing, but he's got cab right behind it in the square, waiting for the musketeers to come in. And at this point, my guy is pushing a foot across, along with a rifle unit, and he's pushing up even more behind it. So this is the point where I do start repositioning my lines, or just basically what I had up here on the hill. And obviously there's going to be a, a slaughter on this crossing. Just wait for the first few volleys to roll in. And there's also some for my lights over here too. And obviously, I've already dropped 13 men. Moving out. My lights Come are getting on. in position. I'm gonna take Sir. a few friendly fire shots to the back, I think. You know, they're lovely and exhausted. So this is just gonna be a massive pile of bodies by the end of the battle. And it looks like the Russians pushing across here against Elite Lifeguards, and he's falling them right on back. The enemy 
this. I feel bad for this foot unit so much. Oh, the captain's dead. Or the officer's dead. And here comes a cab charge dragoon. At this point, the Prussians fall back with, uh, with uh, whatever he has left. He's also moving in another musketeer. So pretty much, these are all just going to be dead in the next five minutes. Just look at the massive blob of force we have on this one island here. Just so much. I have my usual eighth life and foot car in the backfield. I do have most of my reserves up on the front besides my guards. So my guy has fallen back off this lovely choke point where he got an entire foot slaughtered. He got his rifle somewhat shot up at the same time. And Prussian, just forget he was even on this field. Just forget he was even on the field. With these two lights, a musketeer, and another musketeer, yeah, this flank is not going to hold against an entire army that Tip has. And now the Russian's trying to push a, another Cossack. Cross. That's pretty much the same Cossack as earlier. But, uh... I think he's actually gonna... Oh! Get it slaughtered by a musketeer. Yep. Definitely what happened. And his... Tip... Uh, uh, tip. Elitus is basically slaughtering up the 17th Jaeger Regiment for breakfast. And... For some reason, the Russians is charging in a Pavlov's... Grenadier. See, now I'm repositioning my reserves to be close to the field. And here comes a cab unit to get slaughtered. And it's a Dragoon unit. And there she be. Bunch of dead horses in the middle of a chokehold. And, yep, all that unit is dead. Yep. All dead. I appreciate the kills, Britain. Appreciate the kills. And now the Russians pushing up a 17th Jaeger regiment. Just to get slaughtered. Now the Pavs lost. Grenadiers are going back up again. Now it looks like Tip is doing a push here. Lovely frame rate, isn't it? Doing a push. Just, just a slight push. He's not going to push up any further for a little bit. But uh, my guy's rifles have engaged me in another light fight. Now they're pushing up again across the chokehold slash choke point just to get slaughtered. Yep, six down. Two more down. And I hear another cap charge coming in. Nope, he's charging in a foot guard. Which will get slaughtered in the volley also. For some reason, this Prussian Fusilier is kind of offset for no reason. And Tip is engaged, these musketeers which are currently getting slaughtered in a very blocky formation. So Tip's pretty much going to finish off the rest of that Prussian while I'm slaughtering this foot guard on the charge. Oh, good God. Oh, this is just a waste of resources. Yep. Looks like the 17th Jaeger. 17th Jaeger Regiment has 
basically surrendered themselves and retreated. Figure of speech, I guess you could say. And here comes the Russian charge. Getting slaughtered on the way over. Russia just basically did a giant push and didn't make it very far. And now a lovely cab charge once again. These foot guards got slaughtered, but the cab is going to kind of reach me right now. And I think I remember to turn them off of fire at will in a second. See? My men are just lovely running away exhausted. Here comes some lovely cab charging in against Elite, which he did get to his lights. And then that Cossack that got behind us has retreated slash shattered from the field. Shot it from the field, sir. And then this Dragoon's continuing to cause me problems. And I charge in this Asar. Now Tip is continuing to push up a little bit just to keep his lights in range. As you can see, that unit you know, just got shot up a little bit. But, uh... Yeah, there's not much uh, else here that's going to help the British. And then as soon as this unit routes, I'll continue and get these men out of square. And as you can see, he tries to retreat his rifles back, but I'm going to get a good, decent little strike on him. He does get this unit of foot into square. I just continue the charge. Actually, he didn't get him in the square somehow. One yes, of my men are just kind of getting shot before they can charge in. And Elise is having an eventful time over here. And I believe he sent a lot of his reserves over here also. Maybe not as much as I think, but I know he sent some reserves over here before. And obviously the Russian charge is giving him some problems. Nice to see when news put their lifeguards inside of another lifeguard just to get friendly fire kills. And yes, here goes Elite's entire reserve force that he brought over here, which was a lot of units. And now I'm drawing back up my lines here. Just continue slogging the British in this chokehold. Yes. But uh, thankfully the Russians aren't going any further now. Just kind of have stopped. But at this point, the Russian force never really completely existed. Let's just say that this side of the field is a massacre. This area here was a massacre. This area over here was also a massacre. Let's pretty much say every side of the field was a massacre. For some reason, I think he's trying to plant stakes. I don't know what he's trying to do with this unit of rifles. I have no idea. As you can see, the British are just charging me at this point with more foot guards. But at this point, since I have all my reserve he he reserves over here, it's not too difficult for me to push up reinforcement. As you can see, the lead line is holding against the Russian charge. Massive push that kind of failed. As you can see, the Grenadiers are using their grenades to kill absolutely nothing. 
I think they did get a few kills with those grenades, but usually on average they don't do so well. And as you can see, I brought up a new line of musketeers to continue firing at these lovely guys. Oh, look, Cody's online. Ha ha ha. Forgot to turn off Skype. Oops. Oh well. As you can see, I'm charging these musketeers against these rifles, because you know why not. But I think I noticed that these dragoons are coming in, so I can retreat them back. Or send in the last cab unit I have over here. Oh, this musketeer unit actually gets slaughtered by this dragoon unit. Or do they get in a square? I can't tell from these lovely trees. No, they don't get in a square. Our men are running, sir. I just saw the calves passing out and I thought that they got in the square. As the Russian force is quickly retreating. Let's see how the rest of the Prussians doing. Oh, not so good at all. There's not anything left at all. Just a simple cab charge has finished off the Prussian. Either way, I say GG. He tried his best. But as you can see, the, the British don't have much more reinforcement. But elites pretty much finished off the rest of the Russians. Didn't even need to bring over all these reserves, which we actually, me and Tip, thought that he was really going to need. But he held off the Russians pretty well, even without them. Continuing the lovely charge. But, uh, this was actually a decently easy battle. Didn't take much to win. Because, first, we slaughtered this entire side. Then, my guys kept on throwing in units in this choke point here. And then, the Russian just completely went across the side of the river and got himself slaughtered in the elites, Portuguese. I think it is at this point that the Russian kind of starts falling. Our men are running, sir. So there's a few units left. Maybe not. Well, I, have to, I can't remember completely. But uh, I've completely routed the rest of the British forces. And I think that's the Prussian. Yep, lunatic. Lunatic. You did well. You did good enough, my friend. But you have died. Oh, feel the lag. Feel the lag burn. Uh, oh. I actually got this unit away from the cab and got him in a square. But there's a decent little force here left. A full 120 man foot guards, which are going to charge this lovely square I have here. And get themselves slaughtered. And I'm, I'm repositioning my reserves and completely retreating my 120 man units. Because, you know, why not? Which are going to end up getting used anyways. Except for my 8th life and foot guards. And it looks like the Russians have completely fallen back with whatever reserves he has left. Let's see, is the final charge started for the British? Um, yes, it kind of has. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Yes, I agree. Glorious victory is soon to be ours. And here they come ever so slowly up the hill. As you can see, I'm completely changing my line here. For some reason, the lead tries to start bringing two lines back over. I think it was just for the extra kills. <laughs> but, uh, as you can see, I've caught up every single last unit of the British on this oh-so-lovely square. It's actually going to hold up good long bit of time. There's going to be a giant pile of bodies there by the end of it. So I just charge in this pressure fuzzle here because it's out of ammo. For the second only assume it's out of ammo. As you can see, this lovely infantry unit is getting beaten pretty bad by this lifeguard. It's also getting shot at by two other lifeguards 
and a Semenovsky lifeguard. And now, at least Primo's trying to encircle the Russian for the most part. Oh no, uh, yeah, let's let's observe the pile of bodies that exist now on this field. Our men are running, sir. This was the most depressing amount of death right here. It was when all those volleys of lights came in against his foot guard, and pretty much died within about three volleys, combined of line and lights. But uh, yeah, there's some decent little piles of bodies here. And then the finisher over here. And then this is just another slaughter house over here. And then here, here as I said earlier. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Here they come. I think. Oh, I think a lead charge in a unit. No, I don't know. I just know that the rest of these units are gonna get slaughtered. I don't think any of them survive into the charge. I just know I caught up, caught them up a with a lot of my cav. I think only one unit's gonna make it through the charge. I don't know, maybe both of them are going to make it to the charge. I just know that I still end up getting charged by one of these units. Very depleted, but they do get in a charge against my lights. Now let's observe the pile of bodies. Yep, definitely a pile of bodies. Yeah, as I said, one unit got, one unit got into my lights. Other than that, not much else. And here comes one of the last Cossacks, which unfortunately charged Our tip in the back. Running, he got one in the square, but not the other. And now the Russians falling back to deal with this one line unit. And you see, I still have a good chunk of reserves right now. A lot of reserves. Four regular line units of 120 men. And then my lovely elites are still intact as I always try to keep them you're just like the old guard to Napoleon he doesn't like using them and then this is pretty much the last bitter piece of the battle elite's gonna kinda fall back against this Huge blob of lifeguards and Semenovskis. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Apparently, huh? I have ran out of ammo. One of my units, and they're not going to do anything else. The rest of the battle, anyways, doesn't matter. And then he's going to basically be a slaughterhouse to a bunch of guards, which are getting friendly fired in the back. And now he's charging. The Russian is charging. Okay. Here comes the Russian general. He needs his vodka. And he kind of got somewhat killed. And then, yeah, this is going to be another little pile of bodies. And now here come the lifeguards. This is where the pile of bodies are. Go we'll watch them as they do their final charge. Is the proud Russians. Bayonets ready! Getting very easily caught up on the square. The Russian general has lived through that melee combat, but not a very obvious high morale. I can't remember if the square breaks, but here comes a whole bunch of elites cav. I think might sandwich his unit. No, they're not gonna sandwich him. I think it might have broken the square though with that charge, but yeah, with the Semenovskis and the lifeguards just kind of combined in with that infantry unit. It's not going to be very good for these 
lifeguards. Which obviously the Semenovs get very low numbers as routed from the field. For some reason, he decided to form this unit into square. For an unknown reason. No need for that. It's just going to get shot up by these Tiradores. Come on, let me see the volley. Come on. Hey. Oh, and here comes all the Portuguese cav. As the lifeguards are doing so hot. A black guy just got stabbed or something or got shot. Pretty sure he probably got shot. And now the Tiradores lay in their volley. Come on, fire! Fire! For some reason they're not firing. I kinda wanna see this volley. Darn you! Oh, now you're gonna fire? Are you gonna fire now? Mm -hmm. Oh, they routed before you get the volley in. Good job. Alright, well, this is the end of the battle, you guys. Thank you for watching. We will see the oh so lovely stats. So, I killed the most. <laughs> yeah, it was a good battle for all of us, except for the enemy team. But uh, let's see here. I had a unit of hussars at 147 kills. Oh, yeah, that's the winner right there. 226 kills were a musketeer unit. Yep, definitely the winner right there. So thank you guys for watching. More to come. Sorry for the terrible frames. You guys know my computer decides to you know crap itself every single time. So cross your fingers and hope for a new PC eventually. Peace.